Today is going to be a big day. We're going to be moving three of my deer blinds to other spots on my property because I just didn't feel like those spots were good places to hunt. And it's going to take some folks from Texas Wildlife Supply who uh, manufactured and originally installed these blinds to come help us with this project because they have a special trailer that tilts and allows uh, the blind to be tilted back on the trailer and then uh, transported and then, and then put back up. It's pretty neat. Looking forward to showing you that. So let's go ahead and get started. So how did you all design this uh, trailer? We got the design off the water tank. Uh, like big plastic poly water tank. Yeah. The way they do it, they just pull two things and stand up. Pretty much the same deal with this kind of design is for gear blinds. But there's two pins on each side, and then they'll fall down, and they'll back up, and it just like holds it in half. Now you were saying that you need the truck to actually stand it up. Why Why is that? On these bigger blinds, there's so much weight on the front. It's a, I thought the blind would be like right here on the trailer. Uh huh. And we're going to put it on the front run our winch to the back of the trailer. And I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right, we got the uh, tractor ready to go. We put a special pintle style hitch or a clevis hitch here in the back so that uh, we put an extended draw bar on here so that if we need to haul the trailer in sandy spots, the tractor can do it without the trailer hitting the back wheels hitting the back tires. I'm gonna take the Ranger and we've got some blocks here to put underneath the blinds uh, so that they don't bury into the sand. And I've got some wood in case we get in trouble with the trucks and they get in a sandy spot, we can hopefully use the wood to help them move forward. And uh, some shovels in case we need those. And we're gonna take another trailer. I got another guy helping me with another trailer so that if we need to lay something down on that trailer, we can. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're here, we're gonna start uh, taking down the first one here and laying it down so we can move it to the next spot. And I'll do a little time-lapse video and show you what that looks like. Before we could lower the blind, the guys from Texas Wildlife Supply had to first connect the trailer to the front of their truck. You'll see why in a minute. We then had to disconnect the blind ladder in the middle where it makes a 90 degree turn so the blind could lay down on the trailer without any obstructions on either side. Once the winch cable on the truck's front bumper is connected to the back end of the trailer, the cable can be pulled in as the truck drives forward to allow the trailer to bend in the middle and rest against the blind so it can be secured. Then, as the truck backs up, the winch cable can be slowly let out to allow the blind to gently rest on the trailer, as you see here. Finally, we laid the bottom section of the ladder in the trailer for transport to the setup site. So there you have it. That's how you uh, lay these blinds down. And you can see why I needed the help from Texas Wildlife Supply. Now they're gonna go ahead and turn the truck around and pull it from behind because we do have a little bit of a ways to go. As I mentioned in my prior video, I decided to move what I call blind number two from its current spot because it was too close to blind number one shown here. The new spot for blind number two is further east has good visibility down several senderos and won't interfere with hunting at blind number one. Before placing the blind in its new spot, we had to first attach cables to the frame at the top. These cables will be used to anchor the blind to the ground later on. The trailer was attached to the front of the truck as before so the winch could be used to help right the blind. However, we quickly realized that the winch wasn't working because the cable had detached from the winding spool. It was a good thing I had asked my welder friend Manuel to bring his welding rig for this project 
as he was able to reattach the cable to the spool to get it working again. You have to always think ahead when planning big projects like this because things will inevitably happen and it's better to be prepared. Finally, we were able to write the blind. With the blind in its new spot, we inserted cement blocks and metal shims under each leg for additional support. Gavin and Jason then removed the chains holding the blind to the trailer. Finally, Gavin lowered the trailer for transport to the next site. You can see how the winch is crucial in making sure the trailer lowers slowly. So now we're going to attach the ladder and try to level this out a little bit, just for temporary purposes. And then we'll come back and anchor it down later. Once we leveled the blind, it was time to reattach the ladder. Again, it was a good thing I had planned ahead and brought my tractor along, because we needed the front bucket to get high enough to attach the two segments. With everything attached, I headed up top to check out the views. We left a few things in here by accident. <laughs> but there's a new blind. Good visibility. With blind number two in its new spot, it was time to head over to blind number three and get it loaded up on the trailer for transport. The process for moving blind number three was exactly the same as before. The time lapse makes it look quick and easy, but it took everyone working together to get it done right. As I explained in my prior video, I decided to move blind number three from its current location here to a more secluded spot in the woods here. My hope is that the new blind spot will reveal more wildlife activity during hunting season. As we began to make our way through the woods, you can see why it was important for me to doze these paths ahead of time. Otherwise, we would have had a difficult time negotiating the turns, as well as the trees on either side. My only concern was that the dozer turned up a lot of loose sand, as you can see in the video. Fortunately though, we were all able to reach the new blind location without getting stuck. After turning the truck around to maneuver the blind into place, it was time to repeat the process. First, attaching the anchoring cables, and then tilting the blind into place. We then added the cement blocks and shims, and finally we attached the bottom ladder section just as before. It was now time to check out the views. Two down, one to go. I like this spot a lot. I think it's gonna be a good hunting spot. It's nice and wooded. Got some good visibility in front and to the sides. When winter comes, those trees to the uh, right of it will shed their leaves and you'll be able to see better. So I'm not too worried that it's a little blocked on that side. We'll have a good feeder in front, so I think we'll be in good shape. So let's go take care of that third one. By the time we got to the final blind, what I refer to as blind number four, we were a well-oiled machine. We did need to use my tractor to adjust the trailer and get it lined up properly. But aside from that, it was pretty smooth sailing. Because the original location for blind number four, shown here, was fairly open, I decided to move the blind to a new spot near one of my stock tanks, located here. With a good source of water nearby and abundant tree cover, this should prove to be a great hunting spot. After winding our way along the paths I had dozed just a few weeks before, we finally arrived at the new blind location.
one last time we prep the anchor cables before moving the blind into its new spot. So what we're going to do now is try and straighten the leg on one of these with the winch. <laughs> Pretty good. Better? Not a bit, much better. All right, there's the third line in place. All we have to do now is add another ladder. With the ladder finally attached, it was time to check out the scenery from above. You can see the water from here. Just thin out that cedar there, and pretty good visibility. Perfect views. So there you have it. All three blinds successfully moved to new spots on the ranch. All that's left to do is to anchor the blinds in the ground and set up the feeders, and I'll be all set for hunting season. I'll try and take some videos from the new hunting spots this winter, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up below. You can also check out one of my other videos here, and stay up to date by subscribing to my YouTube channel right here. Until next time, I'll see you on the ranch.